Hey guys, welcome to this second video about the make.com automation using ChatGPT OpenAI. Um, I had a lot of questions, technical and um, more strategical about SEO and using this automation. I'll go into both, but I'll start off with this brand new big automation that I made just using a lot of AI prompts with uh, ChatGPT and DALI. Um, so I'll walk you through this step by step. Um, and I'll also address the questions that were um, in the comments of my previous video. So the previous video had a couple of questions about the length of the article, uh, whether or not you could change the tone of voice, um, if you could better the the, um, the markup that was used by OpenAI, and uh, some questions about using images for uh, thumbnails or, or any other kind of images basically. As well, some questions about SEO or rather like sneers about SEO and not using this content for SEO, which I 100% uh, agree on. So don't use this first automation at least. And I also wouldn't recommend using this like more advanced automation. I think you should always strive to have the top quality content. And uh, even though AI can write very decent articles now, it still needs some human uh, editing and uh, probably some adjustments or at least make it better by adding more data, which we can now also do with OpenAI using Code Interpreter, but that's an automation that I'll use later. Um, let's get into this one. So instead of having one prompt, I now you have nine prompts. Um, I still use the same Excel sheet. So I have the title, uh, Tron Tokenomics, uh, in this case would be the article that we're going to write. Didn't have any keywords in it. I use a slug, excerpt, and the category and featured image. This is all for WordPress. Um, this was the last article that I did. So instead of just using that data and writing the article right away, and that's it, which was the automation in the previous video, we're now going to split it up into like a lot of different prompts, making it the article a lot bigger, uh, adding an image, and using tone of voice. So the first prompt takes a title from the Google Sheet and it actually asks to create a short outline with using specifically seven headings because I haven't found a way yet to properly um, adjust the workflow to take a random number of headings. So I'll always use seven. And I use the max tokens so that it gives me the biggest output, which is not needed for the headings. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it's working for me and it just uses the tokens that I want and not more than necessary. Then the second prompt is actually making an image using DALI instead of ChatGPT. It uses the title and then makes a, a 512 by 512 image, which is then sent to, it's not sent actually, it's being included in the article. And I use a new plugin to download every image that I use inside my posts, which is called auto upload auto upload images so it automatically uploads any image that you import from an from a post so if you use the image tag inside your post it will automatically download them and make them local and then i use a lot of prompts to write the actual article based on the outline so every um, prompt is a new part of the outline so here it uses 500 piece word on heading number one which is in Roman numbers, so it's basically an I. Then the second one, third one, etc., 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 and then it pushes it all to WordPress. And inside WordPress, I include all the separate um, outline articles and the image using the image um, HTML tag. So it basically posts the first part, then an image, and then all the other parts of the uh, of the outline. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven outline parts and the image takes the title from the Google Sheet and uses the excerpt and the slug from the Google Sheet as well and it publishes it into the Tron category. So I'm going to run it now. This takes some time. I'm using 3.5, not uh, ChatGPT4, but it still takes some time. So we run it once. It's pushing it quickly to OpenAI and then it takes a little while to actually push it through all the different prompts. So I'll see you in a second when it's uploaded, hopefully. Um, just to make sure, the last post was posted on the 23rd of June uh, called Tron compared to Solana. So this should now have in a couple of seconds or minutes. 
you should have a new post and we can check the article length and whether or not it has an image and uh, how it all looks so the third thing so i'll see you in a bit <laughs> yeah boy and we're back so the sequence in total took about three minutes um, and we can see that it's completed by all the ones on top of the icons uh, ending with the wordpress one so if we go to wordpress and we refresh the page we see to Tron Tokenomics at the 28th of July um, and let's just go, it's instantly published I think, so let's just go to the actual page. It should be here, um, let's see, let's just go to the website instead of doing this. View, here it is. So we have the title, we have the, I don't include the outline in the article because most people now use some sort of automation to, uh, to create the outline. So we have to welcome through the Tron tokenomics, then an image that was based on Tron tokenomics. I think it's pretty decent. Um, understanding the token with some formatting. Uh, this is pretty weird because sometimes it seems to include the outline and sometimes it doesn't but overall pretty nice article with a lot of elements in it historical price analysis even this also has some outline issues this is why you should never just let it run loose and and don't do any checks on it sometimes it makes a double a conclusion or it, it does something twice or it doesn't properly um, format something so you always need to check the content and make sure that it's something that you would um, want to have on your website but let's just see at how much word we made so i asked it to write about 500 words per article and it created a 4,000 word article <laughs> with 25,000 characters and a, an image um, which we could set as a featured image, but with this website, I still have it set up to use a default Tron image. Every time we talk about Tron, it uses the Tron uh, featured image. But overall, this is pretty good. I didn't ask it to use an alt tag, so that could be something that I will add in the future. But it overall, it looks pretty good, I think. Um, so yeah, this addresses the tone of voice and it addresses the size of the article and the image of the article. And as well as my opinion on using um, AI on SEO, which I think you can definitely do, but you still need to manually um, go through the article, make some adjustments, make sure that it makes sense. This article might be way too long for just the tokenomics. If I was looking into specifically this type of article, I would just want to see a table instead of all this information about deflationary and whatever else. Um, I would want to see a table with how many tokens there are, how many are in, uh, um, uh, still in reserve or whatever like a different kind of way to to uh, view the data so it might rank it might not i'm not using these articles to gain any type of seo advantages this at this point i just want to use it to see what ai is capable of and how we can automate it um, i hope you found this interesting and i'll share the prompts and everything else in the um, comments down below thanks for watching and hopefully until next time